On October 11th, tensions escalate as the kittens exhibit aggressive behavior. Hey. No growling at the other kitten chubs. Kanisha initiates a Snapchat group for viewers to join, but the chaos persists as another feline urinates on the bed. Oh, there's 21 people, y'all. It's going to take me forever to accept you all, just say, letting you know. Well, not to accept you, but to add you. Yeah, well, apparently it's on Facebook. I can't talk like do I want to. Okay, I just accepted you guys. Okay, you need to message me for the new people who wants to be added. Makes me nervous. So y'all, I'm getting tired. I've been so fucking stressed out. Do you want to hear something funny, y'all? Allie apologized to me for fucking screaming at me yesterday and going the fuck off on me yesterday. And she goes, I know I can be a bitch and you can be a bitch too. I said, Allie, so I wasn't being a bitch yesterday. I asked Kyle to wash blankets because the cat pissed on her. Like, I wasn't being a bitch. There was no reason for you to get into my conversation about that. And honestly, I don't care who listened to this. There's one part I won't put in here, but I'm just saying. Now she's apologizing. So we'll see when it happens the next time. Later that day, their van encounters mechanical issues. In a twist of events, Sissy manipulates Kanisha into taking the kittens to the vet, withholding the bill until Kyle and Allie negotiate with the rescue organization. After negotiations, Kanisha attempts to portray herself as a savior once more. It not showing the people I've invited. I'm gonna scroll down and pick random people. He misses the kittens. You hear him? He's gonna make me cry again. That's why I started crying earlier. I was perfectly fine until I heard him crying. While well, I was perfectly fine, I was still upset, but I started crying when I heard him crying. They went to the rescue today. That was a cat. 
That was Chubbs crying. Tootie's so been looking all around the house for the cats today. And he can't find them. He's been doing it all day since we've gotten back. It's upsetting. <laughs> at a better place where they're being well taken care of so and that's all that matters is they're being well taken care of consequently seven kittens are surrendered with Kanisha lamenting that Kyle and Allie profited by selling them for $50 each limited on space the rescue organization accepts all the kittens as Reddit and TikTok users unite to support the small rescue for their commendable actions. On October 12th, the van deception persists and Kanisha fabricates health issues related to her heart. And he said, his response to that was, no. He goes, I don't have any anger issues. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Okay. KG. You're right. I told him, you just need to get it under control. I told him, I, I told him an hour last night, because when I see my primary, I said, do you guys have a therapy office here? And we both started laughing, I said, I need it. Fine, fine. That house will make you go clinically insane. Sure. Uh, first of all, yeah. I have no Three idea. That. Yeah. No, I don't know, but I'm trying to <laughs> Food sounds nice. I'm eating a calzone. It's really good. <laughs> What's that? Calzone is as long as it's Yeah, it's fucking amazing. You go to Walmart and get out the two bags in the deli section. Oh, I hope they will make it. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Mm -hmm. They're so good. But I'm gonna I have to go, but just try to stay calm for now until you get into the EKG just so you know keep your heart rate uh try to keep your heart rate up. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll try. But Kyle freaking out it's just I started laughing because you know what The following day reveals the power is disconnected at Stacy's home, using the heart monitor as a reason power bill money was needed. So all I'm going to let, tell you right now is KY Livingston 27. Okay. Now when you send it. I'm going to get closer you want to me the door so you feel. Send it to yours? Yeah. Okay. Give me just a second. What's up, Baby, Baby, got you. Show. That's the outside porch line. Okay, I'm in my underwear. Woo woo. <laughs> and not do that. Not do that. Put it all over you. Y'all, I mean, I do. Can't necessarily see him, but you can hear him. Hold on, I got you as well. Give me a second. Oh, that's what you're trying. Y'all, I don't believe, I, be, I mean, I believe that she doesn't have electricity. Why did no, we're, we're doing this because the person who that basically said it. Hey, Lisa Marie has a question. What's the question? She said, um, why didn't Ali and Kyle pay that instead of eating Chinese? I'm not trying to be rude or like, you know, anything like that, but I don't think that that's Kyle. Well, and people that I'm going to pay for the Chinese 
at that point, I thought we took a good amount of money on that. I will, Jackie. I Let's will. In the as I get my card on here so that I can send that to you real quick. I will, because I'll get off here whenever I send it to him. I want to stay on here and make sure that they get it. Is the electricity back on? They said. Are they have been switching the switches on, on and off? She's done it like four or five times. You know where the you know that one woman is, right? They had the light on. They had that yeah. light on for a long time until we turned it off. Like my daughter did not go to school today at all. Like no, <laughs> nope. Does anybody need any more proof? Hey, quit. You might break something on how old you are. Go to the breaker. They yes, go to the breaker. Ugh, I'm cold outside. If you want to take them to the breaker, I can't. Mm. Can't see. I can't go in the basement. Hold on. I'm going to take my shoes on. The situation deteriorates on October 14th when KK exposes Ali and Kyle's priorities opting to pick up Sean and his PlayStation over restoring power to the house, leading to a confrontation at a gas station. <laughs> Amazing. I'm just letting you know ahead of time, I'm on live, but I am cold and I want to sit in here. I'm here. Okay. So what are we doing, guys? What do you want to do? I guess stay here. We're going to just talk about going back to the house. Because there's still no way to plug in our phones. I mean, we could just, like, chill. And it's about? dark. Too dark. I don't like the dark. I'm a pussy. I'll be the first to admit it. Normally, with us, we have the wood still filming. Yeah, but the thing needs clean. Do you not remember the massive headache it gave me? That's what happens when you don't use it for a while. Ask Sean. That was all. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be straight with you just like you would be me, right? Right. You'd be respectful. Of I feel like you have issues with every little thing and you expect it to be accommodated just right for every little one. I'm, I'm, I'm just being straight for that. That's what it sounds like to me. No, it's not that. It's the fact that no one's willing to execute a plan and everybody's getting un. I don't mean this in a negative way. But everybody's getting unnecessary things that's not going to solve the situation we are in. Okay, can we hold on before you say anything, Ellie? Can you agree that money's going to help out? M money's what's going to help us get out of this hole, right? Well, what? yeah, but also having a plan will too. All right, what kind of plan can we have without money? Right now? Like, like Kyle said the other day, putting a certain amount back so if something like this were to happen, we would have it. That's mom and dad's. No, not, dad. not just that. I'm, I'm talking confused. about, you know, granted, yes, part of it was my fault, but us going to the mall and buying unnecessary shit and then going out to eat for Chinese that everybody also begged for for hours that I was not really worried about it. Granted, it was good, but I wasn't worried about it. That could have been saved. I we would have had more. Everyone. Thank you. I say we had. Ramen's at the house. We had other stuff at the house. This isn't about talk. This isn't about arguing over. <clears throat> and it's not the fact that I need to be accommodated, but you guys also do know that I cannot get this one 
wet. I cannot sweat or get too cold or this thing will come off and it will not work properly. You walking in the rain did not help it either. I was walking in the rain to cool off because I was mad and I was trying to not argue. You just said earlier you were talking about not wanting to have wet blankets because of the rain. Allie, yeah, it wasn't raining when she was pacing out. It was not pouring when I was pacing. It doesn't matter if it's pouring or not. Any bit of water Look. is going to mess with it. Here's the deal. There's nothing we can do. We can't even execute a full-on plan without money right now. Exactly. The only thing we can do is discuss a plan for the future. And that's what I've been trying to do with y'all out there. Uh, you know, uh, That's what I was trying to do earlier, and everybody thinks that, oh, I need to be accommodated, and I have a problem with every little thing. No, I'm thinking ahead. Okay, when, when you say that we need to come formally and plan to make it seem like, okay, we got to figure out something for tonight, like now. No, I'm talking about in general. <clears throat> well, the plan in general is like I told you. Oh, we, I've already told you what we do. We're going to start learning how to budget our money. We're going to do what's the most important, the least important. That's still important, but not as important. <clears throat> to the needs. habits, then the ones. No, to habits. Then whatever's left over. By habits, I mean smoking, meat, Yeah, I know. What I'm weed. saying is, what's needs is like power. Yeah, water, it's gonna go from needs to lesser needs to, to wants um, to to habits. Then to whatever's left over. That's our fuck around and find out kind of money. One shouldn't even be a necessity right now with as many times as it's been out. What it should? Once. Shouldn't even be a necessity right now because as many times as the power has been out since I've been there. I don't know how many times it's been out since I haven't been there. <coughs> but I'm just talking about from the moment okay. I've been there. Okay, there's been a few no, 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 so I'll even start that one. And the three of us band together and put our money and do like that. We're gonna be just fucking fine, cause we're, we all get paid once a week. We put enough Trust money me. on there she to last once a week. A month. One, him getting a job. You two have a job, yes. But and me and Kyle get down no problem. I get that. Sean was working. Yeah, I only have three ninety something in my TikTok, and I can't cash out until Wednesday. Sean does a that mosquito. Don't break the window though. Oh. And I missed. Yeah. And I don't get paid once a week. I get paid once a month. It's every first of the month. That's how Social Security works. Yep. You did. You talking to them or us? Yeah. I was talking to them. Because Social Security, you get paid once a month. Am I right or wrong? Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah, sure. Because sure. the military pay, you get paid once a but month. But here's the deal, Kenesha. No, yeah. that's my dad that gets military pay. If me and Kyle, <coughs> right, and like I said what I was doing, we can sit there, we learn to budget our money. Me and Kyle can put enough money on there to last a week, right? We all we would get paid once a week. Now, Kyle would kind of have to start being the one to pitch in at first, and be until I can get me a job. But once Dad's I do that, got, we have the card. There you go. That that for job that shop that he sent us, so we had some of the money for the utilities and stuff. There you go. I know that's every other week though. We already got it this past With Saturday. With that money, we only use what we have to. That's not our money. Yeah. But Dad's said just use like a hundred or what, you know. Only use that as needed. So you would still be able to get your get get, get, get the once, you know what I mean? <laughs> because me and Kyle put enough money on there to last a week, and then we can get on once. Who mm -hmm. that enough on there that would last a month? Dude, dude, I'm you sorry. It's not. You guys are failing to realize it's not how much you put on it; it's how much electricity you use. It doesn't matter how much you put on it. It's about how much you're using. So when we have all these fans plugged in and all these things plugged into outlets and stuff, it's going to run it up ten times more than what we're the using. The fans in the <laughs> dining room haven't been running That's since not what I'm okay. saying. Here's the, what you don't realize. Yes, that is a factor. But what's above that is how much you put on there. Because let's say there's nothing on there and you don't have anything plugged in, guess what? There's still no power. Yes, you need to know how much you use because and that will determine how much 
you can put on there to Hence compensate. Hence mom's phone and I'm going to try to see if mom will be fine with me putting it to where I can get a notification too. And if I, that's fine with her then yeah. Because that way I can me. keep an eye on I'm what's going on. I'm not smarter than I think. I understand. That Trust me, keep an eye on I'm a lot smarter than I think. I understand that you're like, well, the power, the power, the power, the power. Okay, well, here's the deal. Either Mom way, used to get text messages. How much money we put on there actually doesn't really matter, and it, it, it you, that is what matters in that. You gonna ask Sean? We've had fifty on this several times, and it lasted. Oh no, I'm not talking about putting fifty. I'd probably put like a hundred or so or. Yeah, 200. I understand that, but what I'm saying though, dude. Put 200 on there every week. We don't normally. I want to know what used quite a bit of a. a if that's well, no, the case. Yeah, we'd be 200. No, it'd be actually 300. 150 a piece for me and Kyle. $300. What I want to know <coughs> is what caused it to be such. Because I know, I, I, know, I know the electric bill runs a lot higher than 150. If it were a normal. You know what I mean? You know, if it was a normal electrical company? It takes like three something out on a normal basis, dude. So we should have had plenty of money on it. Still. So I want to know what's going on. I can tell you what's going on. Is you or not? I know for a fact that I'm not going to pull it out because Mom always had to put money on the balance. And I'm sorry. Please do not say the mini heaters because we've even had that all. on. It's never running out within a week. And maybe I mean, you know, maybe there is actually something going on. I don't fucking know, but if it is due to the fact that there's no money yeah, on Yeah, I'm thing, going to say this. We put more on there. If it's not on Monday, by 8.30, we'll know. Something's up to the house. I'm getting tired. Between the power outages lately, not due to money issues, irks the shadow. Because that's Sean during the winter months. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to get used to that. And have to use the wood furnace or wood stove, no doubt. I didn't come to live with it. They started the conversation while I was on live, so. What? <clears throat> What'd they say? No. Oh. What'd they ask? They said, why come to live with it? I didn't go to live with it. Hmm. I was already live. I Whenever I started. still had it paused. It only stays paused for five minutes. It doesn't stay paused longer than that, guys. And we were talking over five minutes. Actually, yeah, we've been talking over five minutes, haven't we? Trust me, guys. Thought so. I know. It's not gonna be like I'm not saying I'm the smartest tool in the shed, and I know everything, but I do know I am pretty intelligent. I act stupid half the time, but I'm a lot. Smarter. That's what I'm saying. I am a lot smarter than everybody's making out to be. It's not like I'm trying to make it out to be I'm by not myself. I'm you're stupid. You're but, 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 but here's the deal. I don't know if y'all want to stay here or go home or what the hell the fuck. Honestly, I'd say I'd rather go home. But here's so we the have a bathroom. Whatever we just whatever we decide though, right? What's there's in there? There's a bathroom right in there. Yeah, I was about to say, what's in there? Sean, you know what I mean. And we have uh, you room. said so there is a bathroom. There is a bathroom and right we in there. We have leg room and not laying on top of one another. We're not laying. You're in your space, he's in his space, I'm in my space, and he, yeah, he's in his space. <laughs> she basically thinks she wants to actually lay down. What's actually laying in my lap? No, it's not cold at all in the house. It's just stuffy.
affect you doesn't mean it doesn't affect you. But so you may not think it could be that, but because it doesn't affect you, you don't know. And within how we know that is because when we were living out of tank and we, oh, the railroad ties? Mm-hmm. Old busted railroad ties. Okay, are you guys cool to go back to the house at least for right now? Just for. Yeah, let's go. It's not like we have another option. Where are y'all going? I guess back to the house. I mean, just open some windows, make sure the cats are fed, the litter box is clean. Yeah, actually, that shit is, because it didn't really smell up. So, like, when I walked into the house today, when I first got home, it actually looked a lot better. It smelled a lot better. I still kind of slow, but it's it, it looks actually a lot better. I'm actually proud of them. I'm surprised that actually something got done around there. I can say that. And, and yes, I can. I know my sister helped out too, so I'm actually proud of all of them people. I'm so yeah, I mean, it's a surprise to me. I expect to walk into the same mess, if not a worse mess. And it turns out that it's actually looking better, so I can't say that much. Yeah, Kanisha, I know like, oh, I know y'all work hard on the house the way it looks now, but we gotta continue busting ass on We know. Yeah, I'm actually proud of y'all, so. Trying to put your phone out. I am not that behind me when they gave me my charger, and I'm not really been on it, so. Okay, like, because mine's at 89 right now. At 95, we'll give, 95, I'll give you back the cord. Mine's at 53. Yeah, after I hold it, so Mine's at 45 right John, no. Not trying to be feel like a dick, but one, you drive like a granny, two. Hey, you do, though. If I end up getting on a great name with y'all, I'm going to be the one driving. Do y'all not have car phone chargers? Yeah. That's why I phone the charging now. Guys, I'll be back on in a little bit. Amid the turmoil, Kanisha withdraws from live streams, making sporadic appearances. During one broadcast, she avoids contact with adult protective services. Pressure mounts for Kanisha to disclose the conditions of the house and the contents of the basement. Hard enough to tell Coco to get a hold of me, so I told him to fix and situate everything. Because I never once said that about him. I'm not that much of a piece of shit, low-life lying prick. So I lied. Who doesn't? So I may lie more than the average fucking person. But I know boundaries on that situation and shit like that, and I want to do that. But it's up to you. Well, like I said, I never said that Anthony and them said that. Never once did I say that. All I said is what they told me today. And from what I heard from Anthony, that's the only reason why they wanted, to, wanted me is for apparently, like, get information about you. I don't know if we're hearing two different sides of the story or... Two different complete stories. I don't know. All I know is two different fucking things. I'm staying out of it. Your what? The, I told you exactly what they Anthony told me today. Anthony told me, and it's exactly what he told me, was four guys, four big buff guys, came screaming, screeching into fucking Wendy's in a big four wheel drive jacked up truck. Come in there looking for me to find you. And they was pissed off. Said they scared the even hell out of him and the people in the fucking, and people in that worked in there. And what Anthony told me is basically the same thing, but the only thing that they wanted to do with me is to get information about you. Well, and see, that's I, not why he told me. That's what he told me. And he told me that they were Latina. I don't know any fucking one with that even 
hint of Latino or anything like that. That's you know, not, and that's not why he told me that they what he didn't tell me they was Latino. They told me he told me they was big four big buff fucking dudes. That's all I told he told me, and that they I come in to, there looking for me, looking for me to find you because they was pissed off at you and wanted you. I told him this. Not I said exactly this word. Not trying to be racist, but what color was the skin? And he said they were Latino. I don't know any Latina person. The closest to that that I that I know is a. And what would it matter what color the skin was, though, Kyle? What what skin color got to do with any damn thing, though? Just to see if I even just to see if I know them whatsoever. Just out of that, just to see if I know them, which I don't know any Latina person. The only one closest to a Latina that I even know, and that is not Latina. He's a little bit Mexican, and that is John. And he has some Mexican in him. Who the hell's John? My cousin, John Duran. That is, his uncle is Uncle Kenny. Even though Uncle Kenny is not really related by blood or marriage, but I still consider, I still consider. My and uncle. John ain't fucking big and buff. I know, that's what I'm saying. That's the only fucking thing I know anyone of Latina. And Johnny and, and, and John wanted to know anything about you. He'd come to me first of all, and second of all, he wouldn't have to come to me because you guys fucking talk to him and all the whole fucking time. I know that's why I'm getting my, the story confused and mixed up. And so why I'm coming to you as a fucking man, asking to resolve the fucking issue any further, as a fucking man, as a man should, and shit like that. Because I'm one, like I said, you don't need to stress with what's going on with your health issues. I don't need to stress with what's going on with my issues, health issues, mom, shit like that. Because I don't know if my mom told you anything like this, but I highly doubt she did. I'm have, I'm on the verge of having to have fucking pins and shit in my knee. And having, maybe to having a knee surgery or some shit. Because you know how when I was like 15 or so, when I told you a long time ago and I slipped on a puddle of water and my knee went backwards. Ever, ever since that, my knee been completely fucked. You know how when, say, you're laying flat, your kneecap is supposed to move, able to move like side to side? My kneecap doesn't even do that. It's completely locked. So I'm on the verge to, if I don't do the physical therapy and it doesn't help, I'm on the verge to having to have a knee fucking replacement. And you, you had to quit smoking because of your lungs because you have one and three quarters of the lungs because of blood clot issue when, from your surgery. With a, not trying to be fun of you or anything, but that penis pump of yours, which caused the blood clot to go in your lungs, which, as we know, it, it wasn't over fucking time considering you already have a quarter of your lung. Don't remember which one was this, your left or right lung. That's Dead, That's my right. Worsen, which can worsen over time. And not just that, with your high blood pressure and shit like that, you don't need the stress, neither do I. Considering, also considering my mom's in. Okay. 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 I'm trying to First of all, to back to you before I say anything about that. As far as the whole Kirkland thing said, was said, because that's what, and it was Veronica that was telling me about that. Veronica and Anthony, Anthony said that she was telling them, or told other, apparently told other people, because they, they said they had, I don't know, I, I, either you told them or somebody, a couple other people talk, came to them that came to them that you told. Anthony told me about that situation is that people told him that it was Copeland and that I was the one saying it. When I put down everything, I never once. Yeah, it was something like it was something to that effect. Either you was telling them, or it was somebody that was. It was a couple of different people that told them that you told these other people that it was Kirkland that did it. Well, you know for a fact I'm not that. I'm not that much of a low life just thing down to being that low. Well, um, not to be um, 
well, I, I don't give a fuck anymore. I'll be blunt anyways, because you know me, I just don't give a fuck. And with everything that's happened, I just don't give a fuck. Yeah, I I see you being that fucking low life of a fucking person to do that, Kyle. I'm not. I'm just being honest. Because look at everything. Look at everything. Look at everything you've already fucking done. Look at all the shit. I mean, think, I mean, I mean, I don't. I mean, hear me out before you don't. Before you start going all, half cocked. Hear me out. Look at all the shit you've done. Why would I think that? Why would anybody? Think that? Why would everybody think that you would be that kind of person that would do that? I mean, look at everything you've done. Look at everything you've called me, how you've treated me, how you've treated people in the family, how you treated everybody. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we believe you do something like that? I mean, just why wouldn't we? Like I'm saying this, I dug my grave now. I got a line on that situ- on that shit. But out of all people, you should understand that I would not think down to that low. Lie on Copeland on that shit. The, with the shit he's going through. I understand my past and what I said. I understand that. Which is a major That's the thing. You're, you're saying you, me of all people. <laughs> me of all people would is the main one of the main people that would believe you would say something like that, though, Kirk, Kyle. Because I have been here with throughout this entire thing, throughout all of this, I've seen the shit you've done. Hell, you the ninety percent of the shit you've done to me and seen said to me. So why wouldn't I believe what? Why wouldn't I believe that you'd say some shit like that about your own brother? I mean, look at the shit you said about your own father. Why wouldn't I say? Why wouldn't I believe you'd say some shit about your own brother like that? Like I am saying, I made I dug my grave. Now I got a line on that shit. And I got to prove myself, again, to not just to people, but mainly to me, to myself and myself only. I understand that. You of all people taught me that one. There are good things that you've taught me, yes. There are also bad things that you've taught me, yes. But the majority of it was good shit. And like I'm doing now, coming to you man to man, even though it's on the phone because it's two different states away. And I would do a video chat, but I can't remember whether I blocked you on Messenger or you blocked me on Messenger. I can't remember any of that shit. I don't really care. You blocked me. And you don't have an iPhone, so you can't video chat that way. Or I'll do it face to face on that. But anyway, that's beside the point. But I'm right now coming to you man to man on the phone trying to, one, make amends, even though I know that's been a long time coming, far away from now. Okay, and that, that, brings me back, that brings me back to my point before I went the whole Kirkland thing. Why all, all of a sudden, because this, this makes no sense to me. Why? And, and, Eventually, she and Kyle depart to stay in a hotel, sparking speculation among viewers that external assistance, possibly from Robin or Angie, is involved. November 4th marks a pivotal moment as Kanisha goes live to mourn Angie's supposed passing. Really not. Please pick another day. You'll understand in a minute. Just, just wait a second. I'm waiting for more people to get in here. I'm not staying on long. Maybe 15 minutes max. It ain't because of me. So don't even go there. It's not because of me. And yes, Angela did pass away for the people who didn't know. You ain't gonna blame it on me. She passed because she had a blood clot in her heart. So don't. Don't even blame it on me. How is that my fault? Don't start. Yes, yeah, so did I. So get your facts straight. I'm not putting you in the box.
exactly. It's not my fault she passed away. Like, seriously. Don't go blaming it on me because I didn't even know she had a blood clot. No one knew she had a blood clot. No, Kyle's mom is Stacy, not Angie. Angela. Angela passed away. I did it. You might want to get your information straight. I'm not putting you in the box stitches. I'm not in the mood to deal with your bullshit. I never begged her for money, so I don't know where you're getting your guys' facts. And I'm not letting him in the box. I'm not letting him rip into me right now because I'm not in the mood to deal with it. However, viewers quickly condemn her for exploiting Angie's death for sympathy, propelling the hashtag Justice for Angie. Subsequently, leaked texts between Angie and Kanisha shed light on their tumultuous relationship, revealing continuous financial pressure exerted by Kanisha and Kyle on Angie, culminating in her fabricated stroke and death hoax. A group chat emerges to discuss Kanisha's transgressions, with Kanisha deflecting blame onto Kyle, but failing to absolve herself in the eyes of viewers. As Kanisha and a viewer delve into Angie's Facebook, they discover Angie's active presence and updated profile picture, prompting a call to Angie's phone, where she answers, revealing the truth that Angie never perished. On November 7th, Angie unveils the truth no, behind the death hoax, disclosing how Kanisha and Kyle drained her finances, compelling her to stage her own demise to escape their clutches. And food and helped her out with clothing. Absolutely, I did. Why did I do it again? Can't tell you that. Maybe a mental issue on my part. I don't know, but I needed to get out of it. And this was the only way I knew to get out of it, which was obviously not the good way to go because I didn't know it was going to go this way. I really don't know what else to say. Um, she sent me all of the screenshots from at least, was it the last week between? It is definitely, we can tell it's Kanisha talking, not Kyle. Um, in those messages, but it's from Kyle's phone. And guys, what we got, what you need to remind, uh, remember is Kanisha kept saying that um, Cal asked for the money, Cal asked for the money, but anyone knows that if you're on SSI, if you have money that's deposited in your account, um, 
you can lose your SSI if it's excessive money. So she used Cal's phone and Cal's cash app so it wouldn't come back on her and her lose her SSI. So that is the only reason. This is completely Kanisha manipulation. Cal never knew anything about Angie until he connected with Kanisha. Kanisha is the common denominator. Uh, we know how manipulative she is, but she used Cal's phone and his cash app because clearly she couldn't have that money deposited to where it could trace back to her so she wouldn't lose her SSI. Um, but Melissa does have a lot of the text messages. Melissa, are you able to share? Or to yeah, you, yeah, you would have to make my box bigger. Um, okay, tell me how to do that. Oh, I forget. You have to go, you have to make the grid different. Uh, go to multi, I guess. There you go. Oh, you know what? I'm going to be a pro at this by the end of the day. <laughs> that was quicker than I did. Okay. <laughs> One second. Let's, while you're doing that, um, I I know that everyone is has been at Melissa and felt like Melissa knew something about this. Melissa, Melissa didn't know anything about this. Yes, she didn't know anything about it. Melissa contacted me this morning um, because of the backstory that I have with the family that Kanisha has taken from before. Um, this is really broken, Melissa. She knew nothing about it. She is completely innocent in this part of the stories. And this is all we're going to talk about. The other things that have been brought up about Melissa, but I will with my breath defend her on the fact that she knew nothing about this. And this, this was a major surprise to her as well. So um, go ahead, Melissa, and um, read the text messages. Was this from last Friday, this previous Friday or the Friday before Halloween? I no, this was this past Friday. I didn't I've deleted all of the previous week, but I had it from Friday on. Okay. Um <coughs> it just pretty much says, Hey mama, do you think you can send money for the room? So, uh so to me now so I can go to the front desk and pay for it and go sleep because I haven't because I'm tired and I haven't had any sleep. Honey, I don't have it to send. It will not let me send, which means I probably have something coming, something more coming out. If my bank, of my bank, I'm working on it. Just bear with me. When I have these pain fits, it takes me a minute, but I am getting ready now. Have you thought about talking to the office and asking them if they have any work you can do in exchange for the room only until the first of the month? You said you, they were nice people. Maybe they could help with the. Uh, um, we talked to them about it yesterday. They won't let us do it. Do you know where you're going to go until the first? As of right now, no. We have no idea that that way we that way we were hoping you can help us out with tonight. As of right now, um, help tonight. That way we can get up and we can figure something out. And we only have three hours until we have to be out. I know this sucks for sure. Yes, it does. And I'm extremely tired. Same here. And I'm trying to stay up long enough until we know we got this room covered for. <sighs> At least the day you might start calling around for help just in case I can't. We at least need 90 for the day because that will cover that. I know, Hey, were you able to figure anything out? Because I tried calling the churches around and they can't help. All of this while they had a house to go back to just using, just abusing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, in that case, I'm going to try and get some sleep as much as I can as until we have to be out. Love you, mama, and thank you for trying to help us figure it out. We will call you when we wake up. Uh, 
Hey mama, have you figured something out? Hey mama, call us please. I don't have a clue what to do guys. We are going to talk to my mom. Uh, hey mama, call us back. I'm talking with my husband again about all this. It's not a good time to call. What did your mom say? She's not answering my text or calls. Great. We are at the park by the hotel. Go back. It's in Kanisha's cash app. I seriously don't know what to do about tomorrow, though. Thank you very much, Mama. And um, yes, I agree, Mama. We really need to. We truly need to figure figure some out. That's what we're gonna do today. I had to go to the walk-in urgent care with Kanisha today because she bruised her back. We've tried everything. We both have tried calling them today to see. Um, this is the order that she sent them to me, so I don't know if you missed parts of it, but it says low it at it's at 64 or 46 right now. He said something about reduced blood flow to the heart. He wants her to be on bed rest, but that doesn't look like it's going to end up happening anytime soon. Oh, wow. You should probably call the Salvation Army. Before you go to bed, you need a game plan for tomorrow. Do you want me to give you the numbers? And we have a place to go tomorrow. My mom is letting us come back. Oh, I wish I would have known about that earlier. Yeah, sorry about that. We just got off the phone with my mom talking about it. Good, and you still have food? We barely have anything because we were we were able, we supposed to say we weren't able to bring much of the food with us. We ha had to check out, so we only have a little bit of the chips and drinks you got and that's it. Sound familiar? She's done that. They've done that before. Oh, so no food left? Okay. Yeah, we had to, or the food would have eventually gone bad. Okay. What room are you in now? The same one they put us back in. Sent McDonald should be there soon. Okay. Thank you. We even try talking to her because Kanisha is supposed to be on bed rest. She is going to refuse to let her be on bed rest, let alone. She only wants us there to clean the house. She even tried making rules like we couldn't smoke in our room. Couldn't use the bathroom like it's an abusive house household and at times it gets physical i am sick of being there and so is she just makes me sick to think about it same here hey mama we're getting ready to be checking out hey mama can you send us a picture of the grocery list so we can make sure we get everything with they get here What's going on? Hang on, I'm being harassed by who? Kyle, honey, please don't tell people things. I'm not, what's going on? I just blocked her. I just blocked her from everything. I did not know she was on the phone with Kanisha when I called you to let you know what she was saying. She was really mad that I took, <laughs> down, I took down their plot today. Robin has me so upset right now. Has me so upset right now. I'm having horrible chest pains. I had no idea she was like that. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm just so upset with those idiots. Okay, mama, keep us posted because we are, we're worried about you. My name is all over Reddit and 
Just can't believe Robin did this. I know. How are you feeling now, Mama? How are you feeling? What's the hospital say? They took my mom to ambulance around 3.30. We are getting a few things to together to meet her. And then that's it. And that's where Angie said that. And then I died. So, guys, and us talking to Angie, um, this is a constant since August. And we Angie has allowed us to share all this since August. Kanisha and Kyle have got a total of $6,500 from them which included just cash through Cash App, hotels, um, food, the electric bill, different bills and stuff, $6,500. Um, Angie got so overwhelmed with the asking of the money and what was going on with Robin, Kanisha, and, and Cal, um, the amount of money that was coming out, the way she was being harassed, what was going on on Reddit, that she felt the only way that she could end it and get Kanisha and Cal and Robert to even leave her alone was just to say that she was dead. Is it right? Hell no. Robin, mm -hmm. it, it was a it's not right. It was a messed up situation. And like I told you today, if I could have got to you, I would have like I really would have wanted to choke you. Uh -huh. um, but this is the only way that she felt like she could escape them was by saying that she was dead not knowing that 10 minutes after she said that kanisha went online to try to get empathy and sympathy and probably get money sent to her and saying angie's dead whose cash app is this this newly married kanisha's so everybody see that cash app i want everybody to go and report that cash app i mean we'll get it taken down but screenshot that cash app we're gonna get it taken down But it was in a panic. It was overwhelming. With her chest pains, she just, that was the first thing that came to mind just to even get them to leave her alone. Not knowing that Kanisha would use this again as another scheme, as another money grab, as another way to get sympathy and empathy from the people on the internet. Um, this is how it started. And I don't know anyone that would give a complete stranger and the manipulation that's used, if you look at the verbiage in the text message, mama, everything is mama this, mama that, thank you, mama, mama this. I do think that it's a trauma bond and she's connected with these people and Angie has to get some help and we're going to do whatever it takes to get her that help. Um, we're going to get her number changed. We're going to do all the steps to get her the help. And it starts with her taking accountability today and being completely honest with everyone. Um, Go ahead, I'll um, read that one. This one is from Robin, I guess, to Angie today. Well, you have created quite a stir and I thought I was your friend and you fooled me to think I shed tears over you and you're still here. Wow, you need to get help because this is just sick, so sick. I tried to help you like you ask. You know, they are saying Kiki and I knew about it. Why would you wanna hurt me? I hope you get the help you need. I wish you the best. I tried to protect you and have been here for you. Friends don't do this to friends. So Angie, Angie, when did they find out you, you promised us that they knew nothing about it. This was your way of escaping the three of them, all three of them together yeah. um, and breaking free of them. When did they know that you weren't dead? When did they know? Uh, Carrie Ann and Robin. Shots. Robin had Carrie Ann call me and um, Carrie Ann contacted my father, my 73 year old father. And so that's, they knew from that point. And by no means, I will say again, this is sick. This is twisted. This should have never been done. I just wanted out of the entire situation. That's all I wanted. I didn't want to go back in there. I don't want to be here now. I live a very private life and I, I don't, I, I don't know what to say. Well, I was wrong. I was 100% wrong, but I did not do that with the intention on hurting anybody, but getting rid of the three of them. The manipulative actions of Kanisha and Kyle drive individuals to extreme measures, culminating in their return to Stacy's residence. As the year unfolds, Kanisha's circumstances spiral further. On November 28th, she acquires adult cats from a Facebook post. 
followed by the addition of three German shepherd puppies on December 6th. By December 19th, Kanisha finds herself in a hotel with Stacy and Allie, facing power outages and freezing temperatures, abandoning the puppies and cats to seek refuge in the hotel. Oh, Kyle, do me a favor. Yeah. Get dressed. Because that toilet paper is not going to last till the morning. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm hmm. I'm drawing. Well, then I'll start pissing out there. Huh? They, get, they get figure out how to clean. I just piss up. Claiming to work at a strip club due to financial constraints, suspicions arise that Kanisha later surrenders the puppies, leaving behind the cats and kittens. Struggling financially, Kanisha, Kyle, and Ollie resort to sleeping in the van near Kanisha's workplace. Yep, Nanny. I have been. For a week and a half now. <laughs> On Christmas Day, Stacy reaches a breaking point and demands the van back expressing frustration over the trio's controlling behavior. You basically taking my van hostage. Mom. Don't mom me. You out. No, we have an accident. Yes, I told you I don't want you driving it, then I want my van back. Mom, you cannot legally drive. Yes, I can. No, you can't. You cannot, because you don't have the reaction key to it. The officer. Number two. One officer. One. No. Two. No, the one here didn't say anything about that. Mm -hmm. Actually, yes. But there wasn't anything they could technically do unless you drove off. So. Wrong. No, not wrong. He and I both talked to the officers. That doctor told me as soon as I got my glasses, I They told you what you wanted to hear. No. They told us because we talked to them after. Yeah, They didn't right. want you You to just want to lie your ass off no. so you can hold my van hostage. No, that's Liar. the case. Liar. I'm trying to look out for you. I don't want you to. Do you ever shut the fuck up? No, I don't. Deal with it. Well, maybe you ought to deal with a lot of shit on your own. No offense. Get out of my van. play victim. Get out of my van and I'll deal with you. Maybe you should die. And I don't care if that was too far either. This is the fucking truth. Because honestly... Because there's only one person in this van that I truly love. The other one I just care about. You ain't any of them. No shit, it's her love. Because all I'm doing is waiting for you to fucking die. We're looking out for you and all you want to do is look out for number one. I'm sorry you ain't number one. I am on my book. You are never number one. And I'll, I consider no. the source of that one. Mom, you? Mom, even you yourself have said you want to die. So? That's not even you being number one in your book either. If I have to keep putting up with your guys' shit, yeah. That's the best way for me. Mom, do you really want to be known as suicidal? Okay. Does that take you then? I know the truth. Mom, you don't understand. You saying you want to die? You don't understand. That cop told you, take me home, give me my Mom? keys. A dumbass that wasn't a cop, that was a security guard. No, that was the cop that was out here with security. He was an off-duty officer. Therefore, it doesn't have a legal right to tell anyone what the fuck to do. Oh, yes, he does. He has a legal right 24-7, 365, 366 during leap year. Mom? 
Nope. Yeah. If they're off duty, they can't do anything. Oh, they could detain you and wait for an officer, but it's on duty to get here. Trust me. Trust me. You think you know a lot more than us. I'm sorry. Do you have to deal with this shit on a daily basis? Do you like it? No. Well, considering you like to try to call cops for stupid ass reasons. Oh, stealing my van. It's not stealing your van if you've actually given me the game. And you won't give them back. And not so told you take me out and give them Mom? back. You fucking busted the key. I'm sure it still comes out. Not really. That. Trust me, I've tried to get it out a few times. Kyle's had to be the one. And that's not because of me. That's because of you. The only one that bent the goddamn key. A dispute erupts on December 27th when Stacy seeks to visit the pet store while the kittens remain unattended for over a week, resulting in police intervention and the expulsion of Kanisha, Kyle, and Ollie from the van. Well, while you guys go to the pet shop, I'm gonna walk around the mall. I thought we would all go together. Pet store and then, Mom? Pet store. I've been inside that pet store more times than I can count. Pets. So can we not go to the mall? Hmm? I didn't know I wasn't allowed to go by myself. No, that's not. You know, I feel you on that one. On the mall. There's a green version of the green. Oh, Told y'all. You gotta start thinking about you. Yourself. Can I, I know it sucks being alone. Something? But what about the cats getting cat bogs? How are they supposed to use the bathroom? Are they supposed to do shit all over the place again? Like. Yeah, remember what that was like cleaning that, Kiki? We what? saw you cleaning it. Like, I don't know what the it's fuck Hannah's issue was, but maybe she should use her brain and really think. Like, what about a cat box? You know, it's like the small things in life. I mean, imagine if somebody put you in that situation and just took off and left you. No exactly. food, no water, no daylight. I and then she wanted to go to the pet store earlier and look at more animals. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Go to your own home. Go to the pet store earlier and look at more animals. Everybody mute, you're echoing. Okay, you guys should be good. How is she trying to go to the pet store earlier and not even to her own home to see her own animals? I just, I don't understand that. They will not take me to my house. Can you stop saying they? Because I've suggested it. Me and, uh, me and Hope both suggested it. We're not the ones driving. I've also suggested for two and a half days to take a shower, and that hasn't happened either, so. Why is she even donating blood without a shower? Don't you have to take your coat off or something and give them your arm? Nobody yep. wants to smell. Like, in all honesty, is there, a like, a medical or a mental reason why Allie and Kyle can't work? Or is it just... They don't want to? Fucking time, I'm trying to get a goddamn job. Listen, I understand all about needing to get a job. I live in a small little town up by Canada, and there's really nothing here. But I mean, I don't plaster my life on the internet, but I get it. But I can't, I can't see myself trying to live off my significant other, not only me, but my whole family. Are you that this fucking is crazy. Dumb? I'm not living off of it, you idiot. So why won't Allie take Stacy home if that's where she wants to be? I mean, we know it's not right for her to be there. We know she could probably go to jail if she refuses to leave the house. But why won't Allie take her if that's her van?
living creatures that they're like, need to they're be like fed. kids. I treat my dog like my son or my son. It's a female. I treat my dog like my daughter. But then she wanted to go to the pet store earlier as a family to look at more animals. Girl, you don't even deserve to look at a pigeon on the road. Like, come on. That, that just baffles me how they're so okay with Abby letting these animals die. A shower coming out the shower head and a damn soap and sponge. Bitch. Allie, I have a question for you, Allie. Why won't you take them to feed these animals, Allie? The only person I know how to drive is Allie. Bree, hold on, I'm gonna pause right here. Doesn't she have a warrant out for her arrest for child support? Yep. Okay, so she can't feed her own kid. What makes you think she's gonna feed an animal? Period. Oh, damn. I just find it hard to believe it's only been three days, Kiki. As long as it's been, I've been there, so I had to go pick up my card. Well, why is nobody still moving? The car is not even moving. Nobody wants to shower? Why is it not moving? Well, they can't shower in the house anyway because of the water. Well, they need to go to a but, store and shower. Why is it not yeah. moving? Why is she still sitting there? Nobody, what the hell? Y'all want to smell like booty juice? What's going on? Y'all all fighting in there. Y'all feet, y'all all taking your shoes off in there. I will pass out. I will sleep outside the car. On the ground. The car is still parked sitting here. Why is you not moving, Allie? You need it most shower. Go shower. Allie, this, the animal abuse is falling down on you, Allie, because you won't drive there. So when the authorities find out and everything, I mean, you know these lives are taped. They're screen recorded. So it's all going to come down on you, Allie, because you're the only driver, Allie, that can go to those animals. The gas pedal's on the right. The gas pedal's on the right. I want to hear what Allie has to say. Allie, what do you have to say about this? How is she the driver if her if she has a child support warrant? Don't she get your license suspended? How is she the driver? I'm not even being funny. I'm not even bringing kids into this, but somebody just said you have a whole child support warrant on um, warrant. So how are you even driving? She's got her permit. She owes child support in Illinois, not or not Illinois, Wisconsin. And her permits through Indiana. That don't matter. Maybe they must have not have ran her name. Well, maybe Wisconsin needs to find out. Oh, they said you know what? My ex owes me 40k. I'm a little salty about people who don't pay fucking child support. I know exactly what you're at. Is when I go. Not until they get you. Just not until they get you. They're taking the three out time. No, actually, I didn't bring it to TikTok. They were arguing when I got on. They started you arguing when I was on. Leave. Leave. See what happens. I'm not getting on shit until the top of you. Because I want to take a fucking shower. Shut up and stop talking. I'm actually better than him, unlike you. Yeah. And I can't stay on here long because my phone's almost dead and I have nowhere to charge it. Concerned observers learn of the incident through inquiries to the Dollar Tree, where the police were summoned. Yeah, okay. we can hear you typing okay. numbers. I'm pretty sure there's Hello, um, do you know that red Dodge Caravan in your parking lot? The mother yeah. in that van has been abused by those three kids, has been hit today. The cops are, is there a way you guys can call the cops? I've called the cops uh, personally. I got them on the way now. I've already called them. Are they still um, there? Like what's... Getting... They're not, they're still out here, yes, but the cops have not made it to check on her yet. This woman needs a shower. She's been, I, and you know, just they are, they will lie when the cops get there. If you go on Reddit, I don't, please download the app. I would go to the dollar store if I could right now, but I got work tomorrow. 
<laughs> and show them those videos. Well, tell them that they need to talk to the police officer. Please yeah, talk. Gotta... Please talk to the police officer yourself. Fat ass Allie abuses her mother. They all do. The mother hasn't taken her pills today. The mother hasn't showered in three days. They're living in the van. They're living in the van. This is a problem. Yeah. And they have dead cats in their house in Illinois that they're not taking care of. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. So, well, um, I got the cops on the way now um, okay. to check on them. I did give them um, numbers to go, like, get a shower at Pathways and all that. And right. She said, <laughs> the woman sitting in dirty depends, like. <laughs> yeah. Ari, they're not in the cats are not in Illinois. They're oh, in uh, Indiana. Bad. They're in Jasonville. The cats are in Jasonville. But please just talk to the police yourself. Um, they're okay. abusers um, and everything like that. Thank you for calling, though. I appreciate that. Oh, not a problem. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. As the year draws to a close, Kanisha, Kyle, and Ali persist in their disruptive behavior, seemingly unfazed by the chaos they have instigated. Their preoccupation with trivial activities, like applying makeup, underscores their detachment from the turmoil, deceit, and schemes that have unfolded throughout the year. Documenting these events becomes imperative, as Kanisha's dismissive stance of, it's in the past, holds little credibility in light of overwhelming evidence.